Oh, big tracks. Big feet. Otter. Fly, you can see where they <laughs> run and slide. <laughs> it's kind of weird that there's only one of them though. Yeah. Wow, what a beautiful day. It's crazy, it's so warm. Well, I picked up this hand auger just this year because uh, a lot of the lakes that I fish are non-motorized so you can't have combustion engines. And it, it worked pretty well. Uh, but I also picked up this adapter and supposedly you can use it with a 3 8 inch drill and 18 volt battery. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up and see if, if it works. Oh, it is so nice out today. It's supposed to be almost 40 tomorrow. It's crazy for December. I don't know if it's global warming or just... One thing they did say was to make sure you use the low speed on the drill. Well, we'll see if it works, huh? Okay, I, I found out you really got to brace it. Otherwise, it just wants to rip your wrist out. Oh, okay. And you got to put a little downward pressure. I wasn't doing that to begin with. Break your wrist. Scott showed me an interesting little uh, scenario out here on the ice. Looks like an eagle was carrying a branch to the nest and must have dropped it. And you can see where he tried to pick it back up, but it must have been too heavy or too bulky or awkward for him. So you can see his footprints in the snow. And clearly I should have put something to scale, but they're definitely eagle. And that's the stick he was carrying. And he's got some perfect wing prints in the snow over here when he took back off. So that was pretty cool. Looks like Scott's theory was right. There's an eagle nest in that tree. That's right in line with where that stick was.